um welcome to this tutorial we're just going to perform a simple translate um animation as you saw in the in the clip before the tutorial started um right now what i have is i have an empty an empty class that is returning a placeholder that's why we have this empty box here um we have this animated item which is what we are going to use to uh, perform our animation i've already created the assets folder with, a, with an images folder and the image we are going to be translating or animating within pop spec yaml yaml i've already added the assets dependency so um i'm going to create a stateful widget and i'm going to call this animate item then i'll import material to get rid of all these errors so um i'll come back to main instead of our home being empty now i'm just going to set it to the animated item constructor which at this stage is not going to change what we have because it's also returning a placeholder uh, widget so um let's proceed to designing the the background of of the image so we're now going to we're going to use a stack since we're going to place an item on top of we're going to stack an image on top of our background our background is going to be a container um, before we do this let's just have a uh, device width so i'm going to have the device or the device dimensions device height um, device width yes so this is now at this moment then i'm going to initialize these variables here device width is equal to media um, query what is the second one not of context width so we have our device width duplicate this line and change this to device height and this to to height so um i'm going to set our container height so i'll set it to I'll set the width first our width is equal to device width going to be 60 percent of the width so six zero then the height is going to be 30 percent so it's going to be 30 percent of the of the height so um for the gradient effect we are going to use a box decoration so i'm going to have box uh, decoration box box decoration so within our box decoration before i start the gradient let me just add um the border radius so that we have those curved edges oh let me add the gradient so that we see the changes happen um real time so um what i'm going to do is if you hover over the box decoration you'll notice that it has a gradient um property so I'm going to add gradient and this is going to be linear linear gradient so there are several types of gradients we have linear gradient I think there's radial gradient so for this our gradient now we're going to pass in colors so this is a list of colors that we have so I'm going to have color uh, colors dot purple then I'm going to have colors no, cyan so basically it's going to translate from purple or transition from purple to cyan um once we have that we now have to set the begin and um oh, let me just remove this and build this so you see what we have is now translating from the left to the right so that's the default position but we can change that we can say begin um so from our bottom bottom left and end at 
uh, top uh, top right corner so you see now we're starting from here purple starts from here and cyan ends at that particular location so um now um it's left for us to add our uh, uh, border radius so this is going to be border radius and um let's just have 20. Okay. border radius dot uh, border radius circular we're going to have 20 and we have those curved edges so now let's center this so i can just say alignment plus alignment alignment dot center so we have this centralized now so to add our image we already have our our container so our image is going to be the second child of the stack so it's going to sit on top of the stack so um we're going to use um the image within our asset so for us to do that um we're going to have image we're going to have asset image and we're now pass in the location of the image so let's say assets images then shoe dot of png so now we have our image showing so what i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the size of the image so i want to set the width of the image to um, device width um, 0 0.7 So I'm going to set it to this. So now we have it fitting properly within um, within our container. Change this to a constant to get rid of the warning. So um, right now we have our um, we have our canvas set up. Next is to start animating. So for us to perform animation, we have to use this mixing. So with single ticker provider, then we can create an animation controller. I'll just call this shoe animation controller. Uh -huh. So we have to initialize our animation controller within the init uh, state method. So I'm just going to override um i'm just going to override the init state so i'm going to override the init state and say uh, shoe animation controller is equal to animation controller and our vsync is just going to be this and we now have to set a duration so the duration of our animation is going to be in seconds and we want it to animate for one second then we can now say shoe animation controller dot forward so this is going to perform our animation so um to animate this object we have to wrap it within another widget called the animated builder so i'm just going to wrap this within the animated builder um, let me format the whole file so let me get rid of this child so the animated builder requires two um, two attributes one is the animation so animation is animation um, show animation controller the view show animation controller the view and the other attribute it accepts is builder and our builder is just going to take in a build context and we're now going to pass in the widget that's going to be animated which is child so now we now have to return 
an animation. So in this case, we are performing a translation animation. So I'm going to say transform dot translate, right? Because rotation is also a form of translation, but in this case, we are performing a translate animation. So we now have offset. We're going to offset the location of the of our image. So I'm now going to say um, shoe animation controller dot value. So in the x axis, in the x axis, since we are not doing anything on the x axis, we just we're just going to leave it as it is. We're only translating on the y axis. So on the y axis, we can now have um, shoe animation controller dot value um, minus hundred. So that we move, we move upwards. So let's refresh this and see if we have if, I think we have an error so let me rerun everything okay yes so let's rebuild yeah so we forgot something here so after the offset you need to pass in the widget that is going to be anim um, animated and this is going to be child making reference to this child, which is the image. So you can see our image has been animated to the top and this is not what we want. So um, here now, instead of using forward, we are going to use repeat. So we're going to use repeat and um, let me run this. So you can see it's repeating the animation, but um, this is not the animation we saw, right? So to make it an even interesting or better animation, we now have to add this attribute reverse, and we're now going to set it to, to true. So once we do this, we can rerun, and you see we have that nice smooth animation. So um, this is just a quick one. Thank you for spending your time with me. See you later.